near bright and fire part of our fire district has hydrants and a, and a larger portion doesn't so in order for us to be able to fight fires we have to bring our water with us if you live within the city limits yeah you have the infrastructure and then you tend to have fire hydrants but out in the more rural parts of the fire district we don't see that as much and a lot of fire departments have tenders in the state of colorado and across the nation and are very good at shuttling water to the call in these rural areas, there's not hydranted systems. The infrastructure is not there. So this is why we employ our tender shuttle into this so that we have an alternative water supply to serve these people. We employ these tenders, which have 3,000 gallons of water. As the crews arrive on scene, they're gonna drop a pond and they're gonna dump the water into this pond. It'll hold 3,000 gallons. Once they get the water on the ground, what they're gonna do is they're gonna use the engine and they're gonna draft that water up into the pump and that's gonna be our water supply for fire ground operations. It's, it's a continuous flow. They'll start pumping off the tender, nursing it as we call it, and then set up the porta ponds, do the drop tank, dump the water in that way and start flowing. That's the ideal position to be in. So how much time is lost by setting up a tender shuttle versus having a hydrated system? The answer really is it should be none. Obviously, it seems like it's a lot easier to pull up to a hydrant, open the cap, turn it on, get your water. You're looking at a couple of extra steps here, but we're really essentially doing the same thing. We're only bringing our own water. Being here at Brighton, we do get a fair amount of calls that involve using the tender operations. So though we have an annual training program for the tenders, we do a lot more on each of the shifts to prepare for that. The more these guys can get practiced on this and get all their things in position, the quicker this time's gonna go. And we're gonna be able to supply that fire ground operation with the adequate GPM that it's gonna require. Brighton Fire is one of the only northern departments in the Denver metro area that actually has tenders, so we get called on a lot to go to other organizations to help them and assist them with calls where they don't have the luxury of the fire hydrant on the corner. The firefighters in Brighton are very proud that they get to do that. They train very hard at it, and they work very hard to be not only professional, but also assist the other departments in a quick fire suppression effort. We work very hard to make sure that whether it's a tender or it's a fire hydrant, the outcome is still the same.